Hey guys! For this activity, we are going to be looking at how body scaling environmental objects helps people with disabilities to achieve activities of daily living. I've given you some background information. Um, we looked at different perspectives or theories of motor development and one of the more modern approaches that are is widely accepted by the motor development community is one of the ecological theories called the perception action approach or perception action theory. So I've given you a little bit of background information on how affordances and body scaling are tied to this perception action approach. And what we're going to be doing in this activity is actually looking at different objects and or surfaces and analyzing how those might afford people with disabilities ways to complete certain activities given their disability. So this lab has been adapted from the HK Propel activity 2.1. So you don't actually need to log into HK Propel this week because everything you need is in this document. Under all of our regular grading criteria stuff, these are the three objects you're going to be analyzing for part one. So the first object is a three inch stair or step. Um, second object is going to be a type of jar opener. So there are two tracks that basically allow lids of various sizes to fit in between. You can see it being used here. Um, and then basically there's a grip edge on each side that will hold on to the jar lid. So that way you just twist um, the jar off or the lid off using the handle that's attached to the device. The third object is a dish with a lip. So I've given or provided a picture of the bowl by itself. I just felt like it didn't have that much dimension. So I also added a picture with food so you could see how it's being used. Um, but basically one side has a rim that's more or less a normal plate or rim. Um, and then the other side of the plate has an edge that actually ends up folding back over top of the dish. So using those pictures to kind of help you envision how those objects might be used, you're going to describe how each of those objects has been scaled or adapted in comparison to objects or surfaces that an able body user would have utilized. You'll do that for each of those. You'll describe how the object might be used. So <clears throat> what would the purpose of having a little three inch step be? Um, and then for each of the objects, you'll also speculate what types of disabilities those objects might be good for. For part two, you are making up your own examples. So the first question here is just identifying two objects that afford someone with a disability in action otherwise not possible. Part four or question four is going to be describing how each of those two objects you identified are scaled or adapted in comparison to, again, what an able-bodied person would use. Question five is going to look at um, how those objects would be used by a person with a disability and or what types of disabilities that object was meant to address. As a final question to kind of wrap up their concept um, back into our perception action approach, how does the notion of scaling or adapting objects and surfaces to afford certain actions fit into this perception action approach? All right, so if you guys have any questions on this, please let me know. Once you've finished your answer sheet, again, make sure you copy and paste just the questions into a separate Word document. Uh, but once you finish answering those questions, you'll submit it to the Activity 2 Dropbox folder using our regular naming convention where you put your last name, underscore, first name, underscore, 315 activity. This would be number two. Um, and that'll be 
posted by the post the, the listed due date and time on Beachboard.